Hello guys, so in this video right here, I'm just going to show you a website where you can get spider mean memes, all right? So this is a free website. You don't have to pay just like the uh, Spamzilla or any other spider mean website tools. But before that, I just wanted to browse some domains that are for sale here in Marcus website. If you know Marcus, affiliate marketing dude, he usually creates contents about expired domains and all other SEO tactics. And he has this list of domains right here that he purchased and then sell it for higher price. So he is technically flipping domains. And you can see right here, the price are actually ridiculous. So maybe he bought this for 15 or $20, then he's going to assess it himself and put the pricing. This one right here, animalknowhow.com. I covered this in one of my video where I used to automate Reddit. I actually created a subreddit for that, as you can see here, Animal Know How, and it was created December 27, 2024. And I derived this Reddit name from this domain right here. And I think Marcus eventually saw that video or he saw this domain, whichever comes first and he got it. And now he's selling this for 1,587. This insane. And you should have a keyword tool that can fetch data from so that if ever you are actually planning to buy an expired, we'll see if it's worth or not. So let's check this in the domain overview. So I'm using the free trial of SEMrush. If you want to get that, you can check the link in the description below. So here we're going to pop this in the animalknowhow.com and search if it's still ranking for some keywords. So here in SEMrush, uh, I'm using the Guru plan. So you can actually navigate up to 12 years of the domain data right here. So you can see here in the past uh, 2021, uh, 20. 20, early 2021. So this domain had actually 5,200 keywords. So if we take a look at the keywords ranking that time, so look at this, six, almost 7,000 organic traffic that time. So the date was 2021 of May. Then we go to the keywords. So if you're going to actually purchase this domain, so my viewers didn't purchase this domain the time I uploaded that video. Otherwise, you could have had this domain right here, which got a bunch of animal keywords right here. And unfortunately, Marcus got that and now it's selling for 1587 So if you want to go back to my video, even I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure I covered that domain. That's why I created this subreddit, but I didn't proceed purchasing this domain. So look at these type of keywords, how to tell if your rat loves you. Look at that. So you could actually sell animal stuff from Amazon or from different affiliate network sites. So it's the power of expired domain because you can actually get topics that were ranking in particular expired domain. So you can navigate to this Marcus website right here, but this is not the website I am going to show you. This is the one. So some of you may already seen this. It's called expireddomains.com. Uh, this is actually good because you can see some overview of the domain right here. So you can also search. Let's say I want to create website related to manifestation. So let's see if manifest is available. And look at this, guys. So all this list right here, and you can see if it's bidding or you can purchase this right away. You can actually use this filter. So what I usually do, if I don't want bidding, I want to have something uh, that I can buy right now. You can scroll down and you will see this filter end date. You can uh, click this and then you to select the domains that you can actually buy as in right now. And it will show you the domains. Now, let's say, for example, this manifestmydream.com. So this is actually for bidding. And if we take a look, let's open this. And it, it's currently priced at 998 USD. If we check the data of this domain, why it's priced like this. So again, we go back to SEMrush. So here we pop the domain right here. And let's see the history. It doesn't have anything. And even in the overview, so it's not worth buying. That's why you really need to check the domain using a keyword tool to see some data if you really want to purchase. Oh, that may be because I am too far. So let's have it in the latest one. All right, even in the latest one, it doesn't have the data. So do not buy this for $1,000. Maybe you can buy this for the name itself. But in my own method, I don't buy the domain just based because the name is too cool or easy to remember. I buy the domain because of the data that's already in that domain. So this domain was purchased 2021. Uh, it was first registered 2021. but no data is available for this domain right here. Even the historical data, the past month, even now. So you couldn't find data related to this domain right here. So you can go ahead and browse the domain that uh, you can actually purchase right now. So you can filter this. So you filter this pricing uh, from highest to lowest. So look at this. This is selling for $500,000. So what's special about this domain? Let's have a look. 
again, it doesn't have any data, so it's better to have some kind of tool before you purchase any domain here in the expireddomains.com if you're looking for anything that already has data. But if you're just looking for the name itself, easy to remember, so you can easily purchase this. So let's have the filter lowest to highest. So there are domains that costing just $5 right here, vmanifest.com. So I had once a website called Vibe Manifest, so it sounds like that's manifestingchangeinc.com. That sounds like a organization or a company manifest ad. So if you are an ad agency, you can also have this domain. So let's take a look if we can get something that has some data and it's really worth buying. So let's see this. So I'm not too sure why most of the domains here have no data. Maybe this website sells domain just for the name, but let me have a quick look. Another cool feature of this expireddomains.com, especially if you're using SEMrush, here in the filter, you can scroll down and you will be able to see this SEMrush rank, especially we're using the SEMrush keyword tool to get data. Then we can select this ranking. So let's see between 1 million and 10 million. All right, and let's remove this filter above. So now we are pretty sure that we are showing the between 1 million and 10 million. Oh, we can start browsing. So let's check if there's any interesting name right here, ashleyrental.com. So we could check if we can create business out of this domain, ashleyrental.com. Let's go ahead and go to the domain overview and pop this in, click on search, and look at this. Uh, right now, it has data, but in the past, July 2024, where it had 371 organic traffic, or the peak was July 2023, it had 394 organic traffic. So let's take a look at this historical data. And it was ranking for 73 keywords, receiving 317 traffic, and it's targeted to Ashley Rentals. So it used to be a, a house rental. Oh, okay, it's a real, yeah, you can see right here in Peru. So yeah, if you want to go up per case this, you can set it up similar to uh, this real estate agent rental website. So yeah, that's a cool feature, right? If you really want to see if there's actually a data and you can go ahead and filter this between one and one million. So this will definitely have good keywords rank in the past. So let's get one domain. That's quite interesting. That is King Coffee. So this could be a organization before you per case that you think it's a brand, make sure there's no trademark so that uh, you can reuse this brand right here. So let's see if this has some data. Okay, this doesn't have, so let's go to a current date. This doesn't have anything. Oh, it has in the UK, of course, because it's in Kodak UK. You can see right here, at the moment, it is betting traffic, all right, because of the brand itself. So if you're gonna purchase something uh, that looks like to be a company or a brand, check if it's a trademark or not before you purchase. So yeah, that's a cool feature here in Instacon. If you're using SEMrush, you can use this filter to s actually see the domains that really have data, and especially this between one and one million. So most of the times you will get good data out of this, uh, you know, range in the SEMrush rank. So a little more. So this one, uh, a nail company right here. There's lots of stuff in Amazon. There's accessories which you can sell. If this domain is not trademarked, then you can go ahead and find that or case that. So let's check first if it's ranking for any keyword. Look at this. This is actually a gold mine. 29 keywords ranking, uh, ranking right now, getting 317 traffic. Yep, it's pretty good. That's the filter that you can use here in expired domains if you're using SEMrush. So you can go ahead and pick all this to see the variation of the data and happily find your uh, expired domain based on your niche. So here, there is a filter called traffic. And let's see, 1 to 30. Let's see if we can get some domains. So these domains have traffic from based on the filters right here. And we can have a look if the data is correct. So again, I'm going to post one of these here in SEMrush. All right, so this one looks like have traffic, socialbusinessmanifesto.com. And if you take a look at the historical data, so back in 2015 and 2016, the peak was in 2017, it had 179 keywords. So go ahead and observe the keywords if we can rerun this. So it's ranking in the US, so let's view all the keywords and see, get contents idea. So mostly, you don't need to purchase the expired domain. Sometimes you want to get ideas of the niche you're going to create. Or if you want to get a quick ranking, then best to buy the domains that have already keywords rank in the past. Then, because there's higher chance that the same keyword will rank today if you create quality contents. So if you want to put a bunch of content with similar keywords easily without doing extra work, you can check the link in the description below how I usually create AI SEO contents whenever I have new domain or I have fire domain. So that will give you a full process on how you can 
so you create quality contents in your new website. So look at this. These are the keywords that you can get idea. What is the internet used for? Interesting. Now you can again go back to the filter and see Oh, that one is selling for 395. So this one is selling for $100. So let's go to manifesto that bio and put this to me right here. I'm looking for something we can buy word of the actual amount here. So this has no data. Let me just find the correct filter, how we can actually get the domain with really good data. So if we increase the traffic to 1000 plus right here, and let's see if they got the domain. So let's remove the buy now. So there's no expired domain that receiving 100 1,000 plus traffic. Anyway, let's start with 31 and then 1,101 to 1,000. There you go. There are two. That's manifestation.com. Look at the name right here. The name itself, it's quite attractive. In ClickBank, there are lots of products related to manifestation or affirmation. So if you're looking to market some products on ClickBank, then you go ahead with the manifestation domain. So let's take a look at this and try to find some work data. So you can see right here, it is selling for how much? 395, but you don't get any data right here. So I think you're just buying for the name itself. Let's go to the current date. Even in the current date, there's no data. And I changed the filter here. So I'm going for best. So let's say if you're going to buy something related to best shoes for children under 15 years old, things like that. So if you want to create websites related to best items, so you can filter this expiredomains.com using this text field right here and type best and you will see bunch of domains again so these are getting uh, traffic based on the filters here these are getting 31 to 1000 traffic and here you can individually investigate the data of uh, the results right here and the price it's not that much but if you want to go ahead to higher price so we just sort this column right here best training program that can look at the name itself so this if you have or if you're planning to create a course website this one is a really good domain right here, besttrainingprogram.com. It costs 395. Let's see if we can at least get some content. So look at that. And at the moment, 2025 June, it has 16 keywords and already receiving 28 traffic. So if you go to the keyword listing, combined fitness. So it's all about in training. Hop, good fitness. So from what I can see, these are in companies or the name of the gym business, but you can also add other uh, gym program. So if you want to go ahead purchasing this best training program.com here in a keyword magic tool. So you can use the keyword magic tool right here and type in gym training and pick on search. And these are the potential keywords that you can add. So you can have the keyword difficulty to lower so that you can rank easily. So let's go ahead with a custom range, maybe zero to 25. Let's apply this. And here you still get 186 and these are the magic keywords that you can put in the domain besttrainingprograms.com. You can add sponsorship, um, affiliate links, or you can sell your own products. So it can go ahead and uh, do the same thing. Uh, go to expiredomains.com. Try to browse something that uh, you can get good data. Make sure you are using a tool that will fetch information based on the domain name that you put in so that before you buy, if it's worth or not. That's about it, guys. So I hope you learned something from uh, this video. See you on the next one.